looks like all fingers and thumb, but that's the way yeah. I prefer to do it. Yeah. Well, um, but what I did do as well, oh, and I'll quickly go and grab it, was I did um, take my stamping platform. Yes. And I put the artboard inside and held it down with the magnets, layered, put the stamp down on and top, yeah. and then did it that way. Yeah, that that way uh, works for many people very well. I, I have to admit, I have never tried myself, but I heard this really works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and I love that one sort of thing in, with the wording in it. Yeah. Oh, yourself. Make okay. yourself a priority. So those I'm going to actually take away with me tonight okay. and colour Ooh. in because Ooh. I really fancy them being in a jelly roll. And we've got some of the other images. Now I've got the butterfly again. And uh, sorry, I should have said, you can see how everything just stamps, Absolutely, you know, perfectly yeah. Perfect, on top yeah. of the... I, I whisked it away, didn't I, sort of thing, without anyone being able having a chance to actually see it. Um, and it's, they all sit in there absolutely beautifully. And I want to yeah. grab an oxide, because you don't have to use black. And I've chosen some of the images that I can use um, to match the rice paper, because in my head what I want to do is create a journal page with my keys and then tear up my rice paper as a background. Yeah. So this way round, I've actually put it so the butterfly is facing down. So it's, it's whatever you prefer. And as you can see, it sits on there absolutely beautifully. Now I want to grab the heart. There is a beautiful heart image. Whoops. And I want to grab the heart. And let's have a... I've got loads of different stamps out. You know, you just think, hmm. And I thought... And do the heart and I want to do I'm trying to pick the colors that to go with my background because I can I'm going to then use the inks on top to seal these colors in place to add the color in right I love I, see now suddenly I, I, I see like almost like a fairy door mm. in there but this is another one if, if you could cut up in lots of different ways as well because there's lots of different you know embellishment within there and just yeah. put it on top. So it, it's the same with all types of crafting. Find the way that works, Absolutely. you know, for you. Um, because we all, we all have, you know, preferred methods that we like. Yeah. Right, so. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the heart sitting on there. And I like the fact that the um, distress isn't quite oh, distressed, yeah. if that makes sense. It does make sense, yeah. And if I just grab... And then... That's not quite dry enough. And then what I wanted to do was just take the inks, because they've got that translucent, but nice sheen, and just go over so I can still see the colour slightly uh, underneath. Yes, you can see it, yeah. But when that dries, that will dry with a lovely sheen to it. Of course. So we carry on building that way. So put the lid sorry I'm getting paranoid about lids now aren't I? <laughs> you know you just go, let's put the lid let's put the lid so what I was thinking of in move you out the way yeah my rather busy look <laughs> journal I'm trying to find a clean page I did did mark it but I've dropped the pin out of it okay. so what I thought would be nice is actually to start building up some of the different colors Yes. that we've got and start tearing and building around and using some of these butterflies um, as oh, we, we would do. Oh, we have got seconds to go. Oh, Sorry. Right, okay. <laughs> I, was, I was literally like lost in the year and then, then they were like second, second. So I'm like, oh. well, I will carry on with that then tomorrow and I'll have coloured in the Absolutely. keys. Absolutely. I, the, look, it's doing that to me. I get lost in hard demos, and I completely. The, the, the director is like seconds to go. Anyway, thank you so much. Well, we you. will see you at 8 a.m. Uh, do check out your baskets. Stay tuned because after the break we have got a happy hour. But do not forget to get the one day special right now. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. 
What I really love about Aichanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows on Hachanda. It's Flex Travaganza time, folks. From Thursday the 31st of December at 6pm to Friday the 15th of January at 6pm, we would like to offer you our thanks and best wishes for 2021 by bringing you our Flex Travaganza event. If you add at least £5 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flextravaganza Flexi Basket offers. This means you can spread the cost of your entire order over two equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you a more cost-efficient way of shopping with us. Flexible payments for everyone. Join us from Thursday the 31st of December to make your shopping experience with Hachanda even easier. Hello, I'm Barbara and I'm Julie and together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business, been in business for two years and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on a channel. My Buddy Box is a lightweight yet super strong, reusable, folding, stacking plastic box which transforms from this lightweight flat pack into this spacious box in seconds. Good morning to you, Woe.
welcome to Ho Chanda. I'm Natasha McCarty and you have been crying out for dressmaking. I heard you. It's okay. I heard you. So we've got dressmaking for you. Um, not just... Yay! Finally I hear you cry. Uh, not just that. Don't worry, it's not just me uh, this morning. Oh, no, 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 no. I've got, I've got an XB with me. Yes, I have. I've got the very fabulous, glowing <laughs> Jennifer Taylor. Good morning, Good morning. To you. XB. I like that. <laughs> well, you know, um, it's one of your lifetimes. Well, I, I, I always get confused on how you say when you've, you've obviously been eliminated from... I always forget the word eliminated and I go, I got... Um, when is it you get chucked out of a... Pro evacu not evacuated. When you get chucked out of a property, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, evicted. <laughs> evicted. We are evicted from the bed. Evicted out. I um, mean, any of those things. Um, but that was... that. I mean, that was... Oh, it was ages ago wasn't it was, wasn't it and mm. you have thrived and flourished thank since. you thank you very much um and and the beauty of it is is that i've got to work with you ever Again. since yes all the time i love it i love that we keep bumping into each other it's brilliant it's been nearly seven years now Can it's insane it? isn't it just I think it was about seven years when we first met yeah. through the power of the golden rule. Absolutely, absolutely. Which is what we have got today. Now, the golden rule, if you have not seen it before, is absolutely perfect. And it's pretty much the only way that I dress make now. You, um... Well, I mean, you, you've heard me say and describe myself possibly as a big old bird. Um... <laughs> it's true. Uh, have you never heard me do uh, yeah. Delicious, though. You're a delicious bird. <laughs> I can't remember where it first started, but someone looked at me and went, you're a bit of a big old bird, aren't you? I, went, I like to think Amazonian, but I'll yes. take big old bird. That'll do. Uh, it describes me. Uh, basically, I'm nearly six foot tall, which means that trousers, really tricky dresses normally, and no, no, because their waists are, well, not where mine is, um, and the hemline is certainly not where I need it. It's either indecent or ankle swinger. It, it's just a minefield. Um, but today, in fact, this is the first time I've ever worn a dress on Hoi Chanda. <laughs> da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Uh, and this is the first dress that I ever made, and I made it in two hours using the golden rule. Yes! Yes! Yes, yes I did! Uh, and it's the only dress I wear, apart from uh, a maxi dress in the summer that I managed to find really long, and again, I made that one. So, this is the thing. If you have trouble um, getting clothes to fit you, because on the high street it seems to be a thing of one, f one size fits no one. <laughs> uh, well, it is, isn't it? Because they're yep. trying to cater to everyone and no one is the same. So this is what you need. It means that you can get the clothes that fit you tailor-made to you in the size that you want, the colour you want, the fabric that you want. How many times have you seen something and gone, I want that, but the colour's wrong, the fit's just wrong. If it was just a little bit longer, if it was just a little, if the waist was a little bit lower or a bit higher or whatever, that's what you're getting with this. You are getting 280 patterns in this little book. How can that be? Uh, well, first, it's going to save you on space. If you had 280 normal size patterns, I mean, you'd be, you'd be swamped. Let's show you what is in here. This is a complete system here. And we've got it in, um, this is your, your, your standard size. And then we've got an XL size as well. You get a dressmaking DVD. Uh, this is a family run company. This is one of the brothers now, now run it. And it was their grandmother that came up with the golden rule. Mm -hmm. You're going to get a uh, dressmaking tool in there. And then the start of this folder gives you like a little mini tutorial. You've got step by step guides to pockets and everything else. But watch the DVD, make along with the DVD. And then in here, this is where you get all your patterns. So, for example, on this page here, uh, you've got when you turn over. Here are all your patterns. You go, well, that's not a size that's going to fit me. Jennifer oh, is going to show us in a minute how you take one of those and you size it up to your size. That's the really vital thing. It's sized up to your size. So if you want these trousers, but maybe you want them a bit longer, or maybe you want them a bit cropped, or, uh, you know, you can do this. You can do all of these things. It is phenomenal. I mean, you've got all sorts of things. There are 280. Uh, it's everything from underwear to casual wear. There's wedding gear in here. There's um, dressing gowns. There's children's there's, wear. Yeah, children's wear. There's men's wear. Mm -hmm. There's all sorts. 
and just imagine it in a different, I mean this is very smart isn't it, but what you'll get down here as well is um, different, well you're, it'll tell you how much fabric you need for each one, so here you're going to need fabric that is 130 by 150 centimetres, that's how much you're going to need to make this little ensemble, um, you get various um, things as well so it'll show you which ones are suitable for high contrast that's something that goes that's going to suit um, a fabric that's a high contrast um, you've got ones that are for knitwear ones for maternity wear if you see that little um, that little one there you've got one that is um, fabulous for the fuller figure one that's great for petite so it's this is it really helps you decide it's like a personal shopper in a book because it's going okay if this is your body type try one of these um, so we've got loads on the show do you want to just show how it works to start off with and then I'll show you everything that we've got because unless you know how it mm. works there's no point in getting it <laughs> so uh, there we go it's true. Jennifer it's, show it's, us it's how it works true. because the concept is phenomenal yeah absolutely so um, as uh, Natasha has already sort of explained uh, this is what I love about this system. It's, you know, I'm all about the U size. I'm all about the U size. So, you know, you don't have to worry about pigeonholing yourself into a specific size. We all have that problem, don't we? Whether you make dresses or whether you use ready to wear garments, we either tend to straddle one size. So a classic example, I know I, I'm in that situation at the moment where your, uh, your top might be, I don't know, let's say a size 14. So your top heavy and then the bottom is a 12 or a 16. So you fluctuate between the top and the bottom. And exactly what you said about dresses trying to get a dress to fit you especially when you've got these different sizes going yeah. on is just impossible yeah. whereas with this system you are using your body measurements there is no 10 there is no 15 there is no 22 there is no 18 you are using your actual body measurements so all of a sudden you go <gasps> as a dressmaker I'm like right well you need this 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 a thousand and one measurements you just and a need to and a said, friend that's the thing isn't it and a, a friend, friend to actually measure you which you can't have you at can't the have. moment exactly so now you can socially distance and make your own clothes your own so clothes. that when you emerge you're going to emerge beautifully tailored <laughs> I mean <laughs> like fabulous, a butterfly right? like a butterfly so all you need is a bust and a hip measurement and as a dressmaker, when I first came across this system, I was like, nah, that can't work, it's impossible, that can't work. And the first time I used it was with you, Natasha, what was you say, seven years ago was the first yeah, time we used seven it? Years, yeah. And you were based in Peterborough at the yeah, time, yeah, I was yeah. in uh, Birmingham at the time, yeah. and you gave me your measurements over, over the, the phone. phone. Yeah. And I made the vest, I found it, it was Did a blouse, you? yeah, so I haven't got the actual make, unfortunately, that, that's, that's disappeared, but I have no, the original... No, it's in my wardrobe, I don't you should have it, I don't remember still got it. Wouldn't fit me now. <laughs> let, <laughs> let me find it for you. Look down loud, it's happened so since So this then. was the uh, make, if I just hold that there for you. So this was the blouse that um, I made for Natasha over the phone for the show. And the only time you got to get it on your body was literally two minutes before air, wasn't it? it true. And it fit like a perfectly. Drink. And then that's when I was just like, wow. Right. Wow. It Over was the one phone. That I didn't believe. I mean, I know I knew I knew that I was going to meet a bee, um, and I knew that it meant that you must be good at dressmaking. Mm -hmm. But I was like, how? I've only given. I mean, my, my grandma was a seamstress, and I know how many measurements she used to take for me. Uh, my friend Inga's knitting me a jumper. She's taken a gazillion yeah. measurements. Um, I was like, how can you make it from just two measurements? That was what blew my mind. But it fit. It fit. Perfect. And that's where it just exactly I had the same hang ups. Hold on a minute. You're going to need a shoulder width. You're going to need a, a shoulder to bust, a shoulder to waist, a shoulder to hip. All of these measurements. Mm. And it was just the bust and hip. And I couldn't believe it. And when it, so I was blew away then. But when it really blew my mind is when I started to do workshops on it. And I have a room full of people of different sizes and shapes. And every time it worked. And I just, I still to this day don't ask me how it works <laughs> Ralph hasn't revealed the secrets but it works and I can yeah. vouch for that I can vouch for well, that to give a little bit of history because we said it is a family company mm. so Ralph and his brother now run it mm -hmm. um, I think he's, has he got a sister involved? anyway so it's a family company but it was their grandmother yeah. um, who back in the 1930s was a, a tall lady like me mm -hmm. statuesque let's go statuesque yes um, and no that's not her and um, <laughs> So I've just visited. Is this her? No, 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 that's my Martin. That's not their grandmother. Uh, she'd be looking great for someone that was uh, sorting this thing out in the 1930s. Uh, <laughs> um, so she was statuesque 
couldn't find things to fit her, so she devised the golden rule. You know um, Da Vinci's man? Oh, this is brilliant. And, and all of the different ratios that your body has. She used that as her starting point and devised this rule that Jennifer's going to show us in a minute uh, to create a ruler. Now, this will only work, this system only works mm -hmm. with the ruler that you get in the kit. Yeah. But it's that ruler, that golden rule, um, that when you take your measurements, you pinpoint in a certain place, as you're going to see in a minute, that makes it tailor-made to you. The woman was a genius and the family have run the business ever since and they are delightful they're really lovely they're gorgeous to work with i mean anyone that sends me patterns with boxes of chocolates got my vote right the chocolates are the best <laughs> I, we can't guarantee the chocolates on your order no, no, no. just to clarify no, no, we can't no. guarantee that no, but no, no, no. we get them from frank and, and from and ralph <laughs> but uh, you're talking about the, the golden rule so this is a test you could probably do at home so if you place your uh, thumb against your hand like so place your thumb underneath your nose and it should fit the bridge of your nose so that's the first one yeah the other one is your elbow to wrist that would be your foot now this is you can't i definitely can't get up there but essentially <laughs> she's going yes. for it she's going for it <laughs> but that's essentially your foot another quick one especially if you've got children like i have now i can vouch for this where oh, you know i'm about to have a second, have a second. um wanted to get a foot size for socks if you do a fist the circumference of your fist is the length of your foot no no hey whoa whoa whoa, whoa. yeah well, yeah i need this in my life <laughs> so if you do a fist and you put the heel and the toe are like around and you pinch at the top if it goes all the way around and it meets then that's a good size sock for the person that so you don't have to worry about taking the sock you've chosen socks off to measure a sock just do me a fist and go around and the that's the length of the foot that's the length of the foot another one is tip to tip is your height I bought a start right thing to try and measure Emily's feet to try and get <laughs> I'm her in. I'm so the... sorry, I'm going to save you. Have you tried measuring toddlers' feet? Well, yes, possible. you have. <laughs> no, you haven't, because you know this. Right, I'm doing that when I get home. So yeah, basically that's kind of we're all in proportion, and we are in proportion with ourselves, and I think that's the important thing with ourselves. Yeah. So with the system, as you said, uh, Natasha, these um, pattern pieces. If I just do a quick flick through, so let's just take let's take this coat for instance so you've got um, two variations of the coat here um, and uh, like you said there's information which I will go through in a moment when you flip over that is the pattern for both variations that's it so my first question again as a, as a dressmaker would be okay that's not going to be big enough Barbie doll potentially how is it going to be fitting me so what how I got my head around this system was uh, once you've taken your bust and your hip measurement I like to think of it as a photocopier yeah and you're basically enlarging the pattern yeah. or to your size whatever size that might yeah. be but what's great about it is that it will do these parts independently so it's not just going to put you in that block that block no. we talk about 12 14 16 whatever the top and the bottom are bust or hip are it will expand and um, make it to your size so I'm going to do that now with the waistcoat now the waistcoat comes in the pattern so it's a, a leaflet here we go it's here so this is this is where um, Ralph and Frank always say start yeah. isn't it with this waistcoat which I think is lovely yeah yeah and definitely. you can i mean you can elongate it so if you wanted to make it like a long waistcoat then you can but you get that pattern in here mm -hmm. and the dvd shows you if you don't because if you don't have jen on hand then the dvd will show you and take you through how to do that mm -hmm. and that shows you the very basics doesn't it yeah. so that you can then fly but that's your starting point absolutely in the leaflet as well you do have a short pattern so again that's a really nice quick one to make rather than making a full pair of trousers just a pair of shorts to check the hip area and um, there's a blouse in there as well so just in that flyer alone you've got three patterns yeah. to test out but like you said the waistcoat is a great place to start because one it's using both the bust and the hip measurement and it's going to wriggle out any potential issues if you have any and if you do they will be minor and yeah. again i'm going to go through that maybe in the second hour about adjustments so natasha has kindly lent me her her vitals so obviously you need to keep these between yourself okay what so I got you know was a text saying um this would sound really weird to anyone else it's true but can you send me your bust and hip measurements so i was like yeah. well no i know exactly what you're doing just don't tell anyone because normally what would happen is we'd do these shows either you and me or yeah. either one of us and ralph and he'd shout them yes. out yes 
thank goodness for social distancing. You discreetly send it in a text. So I've asked for um, your measurements, and as yes. you say, you have kindly uh, given me uh, your measurements. So I'm just checking that I'm popping this down. So you cut nice out position. the pattern that's in the leaflet and yes, you put it in the middle of pattern paper. Yes, so just, got just to show. clarify, please don't cut your patterns up. Don't do that, <laughs> like I've done. It's just for ease. Um, in relation to the patterns in the booklet, yes. uh, you can photocopy them to if you want to keep your booklet absolutely pristine. But what I would suggest popping a little bit of sellotape on the area with the cross hatch. So if you just um, if you can see here, you're going to be popping a pin in there in a second. So if you are using a paper, pop a little bit of um, scotch tape or whatever on the top of there, and then it will stop the pin from wriggling around too much. Even the pin comes in the kit. Oh, is it? they think of everything. Even the pin. Yeah. So just to go through the kit, you have you have two pins, not one, but two. You have your uh, tape yep. to hold everything down and that also comes in handy when you're doing a fit test they even give you a pen come on Amazing. and then you've got the special golden ruler so this is this is what makes it the golden rule so the patterns you can have them in your in your stash but you won't be able to do anything with them unless you've got one of these did you know that comes with a lifetime guarantee that's amazing isn't it they think of everything. Mm. They think of absolutely everything. So on your tape, you've got one side, which is a standard tape measure. So I suggest that you take your measurements using this tape measure rather than fluctuating between tape measures, because believe it or not, they're not always the same or accurate. Mm. So stick with this and only this. So once you've taken your bust and hip measurement, you're ready to proceed. So just to clarify the bust and hip measurement area. So with the bust, we're talking about the full, or the equator as I like to call it, the full bust, <laughs> okay? You want to make sure that you're not sagging in the front and the back as well. So again, just quick test, test in the mirror, just do a quick rotation. So as long as you're not sagging in the front or the back, mm. it's uh, the equator, if you like, you're perfect. And when it comes and to... can I just add as well, put on the sort of bra that yes. you're likely to wear yeah. with the garment. It does make a difference. Especially when you're making an occasion yeah. garment. If, if it's a day-to-day... If you've got an -day, bra then that's yeah. going to be a different will, measurement. Yeah. It's amazing what bras can bra. do these days. Amazing. It's worth putting it on. So if it's an occasional dress or a, a suit or whoever it is you're making for, I'm not suggesting you would wear a bra with a suit, but just wear the appropriate underwear. If it's something like this, a bit more casual, something you're going to wear every day, so you're gonna, you know, it's not an occasional one, then don't worry necessarily about it. Yeah. But definitely those occasional pieces, wear the right undergarment. And then the next one is the hip. Now, this is where... It, I like to think of it more as what's the fullest area. So I would actually suggest taking multiple measurements here. So ignore my tummy at the moment because obviously I'm, I'm pregnant. So this is a whole different situation. But so for me, I got the tape measure when you asked me, and and I stood with my feet together. Yeah. And I started here, mm -hmm. and then sort of pushed it down. Okay, it didn't. So I just kept letting it out, letting it out, letting it out until I got to the fullest point. Yeah. Now with lockdown lard, it meant that there was a bit more here. <laughs> yeah. So that was actually my fullest, fullest part. point there. That might um, be your tummy, though. So just to clarify, when they say hip, it might be could your be. tummy. It could be. Absolutely, it depends it on your be. shape, and this is what I love about it. So. Bust is pretty standard, yeah. but when it comes to the hip, I'm using inverted commas because it could be quite high. This is where my hip bones are. In dressmaking, this is where the traditional hip measurement yeah. would be. If you're doing normal dressmaking, you take several hip measurements, mm. upper, medium, and lower hip. So it's wherever's fullest for you. So if it's the tummy, upper hip, lower hip, or for even further down, more at the top of the thigh, whatever that biggest measurement is, that's the one that you need to take for the hip So for the maternity wear, are you going to be taking... Yeah. So for me, it would be the right. tummy, like the tummy area. Yeah. That's what you'd need to take into account. Exciting. Okay. Exciting. I'm glad I'm wearing something big today, though. It's quite nice. Right then, so with the um, tape measure, so once you've taken your measurements, which I've got to the side, yeah. and if you've got eagle eyes, then you'll know, but shh, keep it to yourself. So first of all, what we're going <laughs> to do is take this vest pattern and we're going to make it in Natasha size. So the first thing you need to do is take your pin and you're taking your bust measurement. Now, if you are not a whole number, so in this case, it, let's just say you're not a 96, but you're not a 98, you need to go up, but not down. Always go up. So I've put the pin in 98 and I'm right. replacing that into, sorry Natasha, in, right. I'm so glad there's a plastic screen We're between the two of us. And pop the pin friends. in. <laughs> pop the pin in. 
Now, if in, in that cross. In the cross. In the cross. And just so we know we're not damaging her chanda property, we've got a cutting mat just underneath cutting it. Mat. Yeah. So make sure you just pop something under, whether it's a coaster or whatever, but put something under to hold that pin in place. I think and Ralph you, normally uses a glob of um, blue, blue tack, tack or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. But obviously, yeah. if you're doing this on your kitchen table, I wanted something a bit more belt and based than a bit of blue tack. But essentially, something that's just going to hold the pin in place. Okay. So what that does then, that allows the tape measure to rotate freely around that yeah. access point. Okay. It's magic. So this is where the fun starts. So we're going to start plotting out. So I'm going to take the first line of dots on here. So everything above this perforated line here, can you see that across there? If I just move the tape measure. Everything on that little dotted line, the waistline, so the one on the waistline and above is your bust. Anything below, so the 26, 21 and 20 dots are your hip. Okay. And, th and that is the key, isn't it? Yeah, that's you know, the key. don't get carried away and do the bust measurement all the way around us. It's going to look really weird. Yeah. Unless you're very lucky and you've got both the same, then obviously go for it. But otherwise, if you've got two different numbers, make sure you switch. It's really important that you switch. Yeah. 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 So another little tip while we're on this point. Um, you need to line the ruler up with the line, but don't try and become too fixated on the dots because sometimes they don't actually attach. So if you see number 11 here, this one here, can you see that there is no dot attached? Don't panic. It will all come out in the draft. Mm -hmm. So I suggest, uh, this is a tip from my workshops, forget about the dots, just concentrate on the, the lines. lines. Okay. So I'm going to this line first and it says number 19. So I'm stretching my tape measure out and I'm putting a dot. I'm going to my next one. And this is 19 and a half. So the bold line is the full numbers. The lighter line is the half numbers. Yeah. So again, that's another bit to remember. I'm now onto that number 11. If for whatever reason your number 11 is on the pattern, then what I would suggest doing is take your other pin and use that to make a dot instead. Oh, perfect. Okay, so it's always handy having that second pin. I it, thought the second pin was in case I lost the first. Well, it, it is, but, but there again, <laughs> there's just a little handy tip there for you. So this is 37 and a half, so again, stretching that tape measure out. So just be aware that you're not kinking the tape measure at all. It's nice and flat, nice and straight. 36, 35, 33, I feel like I'm on a countdown, 33, 19, 15, 18, and the last one here is 18, using so the if bust. It's on the line, you on go On the bust. line or above, yeah. So now I'm ready to fluctuate to my other number, which is my hip number. This one is a nice round number, so I don't need to go up on that one. And now I can then continue with the rest of the numbers. So this is number 26. So it doesn't matter what your body measurements on here, the numbers radiating from that access point stay the same regardless of the size so you just put your pin in at your appropriate measurement that's and then right. forget about it absolutely and that's the thing isn't it the number of times that i've bought a pattern and gone i i don't know what their size 12 or 14 or 16 equates to and in in um on high street stores mm -hmm. i can be anything from a 10 to an 18. Oh, I yeah. fluctuate between between all of those depending on which shop it is, whether I need the length for trousers. So it, it's just a number. It's just a number. It's fine. Just a number. Um, so I've got all of these dots together now. So in your kit, if you're buying the uh, the folder, you should. I believe you get. Can you whip it out. Here we go. This is a great place to start. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to be doing a lot, I would upgrade. I did. I upgraded to um, to the the plastic version that you've got. But you've got this to start you mm -hmm. off. So the Lutterlow Tailor and Design Curve is thirty four ninety nine. It it's it means you've got the professional stuff. Oh yeah, definitely. And it, it's 